Throwing knives at him. 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 What's going on guys and welcome to Tasty Flicks. My name's Seth and joining me is Chevy. We just watched episode three of season one of Demon Slayer. And a quick recap, we watched uh, Tanjiro train under Mr. Uro Kudaki um, for the course of two years. We saw a montage of a lot of training, starting with the traps and then getting into more of uh, blade stuff, uh, breathing exercises, and uh, inevitably getting to the point where Mr. Urokodaki uh, told him that he needs to be able to slice a stone, essentially split it. Mm -hmm. um, he tries, he fails, and uh, yeah, we are shown uh, essentially a lot of stuff happening over at first six months, a year and a half, and then two years, uh, in which in this time, uh, Nezuko is in some kind of sleep coma thing going on. Um, so she's just kind of chilling. Um, and Mr. Urukodaki just kind of walked off and uh, left Tanjiro to his uh, training. Uh, in that time, we're introduced to two new characters, I think. Uh, one uh, named Momoko and the other one, uh, Sabato. Um, I'm surprised I'm remembering these names. Me too. <laughs> uh, two characters with the uh, fox masks, one a little more uh, intense than the other, um, which kind of fits the characters. Uh, upon meeting Sabato, um, uh, Tanjiro's training and uh, manliness is questioned by Sabato, and they get into a, um, I would say it's like a, a sparring match, but it's mostly Sabato just kind of beating the shit out of uh, <laughs> Tanjiro. Um, some really cool visuals going on there, particularly one shot where, um, shot, it wasn't shot, but uh, one scene where uh, Tanjiro slices right at uh, Sabato and he just kind of like effortlessly like dodges the attack and then strikes. Very samurai. It was very fucking cool to see. Mm -hmm. um, and then after his brutal beating of uh, being tested by Sabato, uh, Momoko, Momoko, Momoko comes in and uh, essentially... Uh, make sure he's okay and uh, trains him in, in some of the things that he's weak in. And then after the long montage, we see Tanjiro's hair get long and uh, he's still training with them and eventually is going up against Sabado again and finally is able to land a strike uh, where he splits Sabado's mask and uh, both characters seem happy with this progress and essentially disappear i don't know if it's because they don't exist if they're spirits or if they're just ninjas and they fucking got the hell out of there i'll find out later but uh in this strike he finds after they've disappeared that he has split the rock in half leaving us uh with progress on his training and uh making me curious about where we're going with episode four um yeah, so uh, impressions. I really liked this episode. I thought it was really good. Uh, the show is getting better. Every episode has been better than the last episode, which is a good trajectory. Um, I liked seeing the training process. It was kind of crazy. They were passing two years. Uh, it seems like a lot of um, time to lose, but we are you know, told that this is what he's doing for those two years. So we have to accept that He's just been busting his ass for two years straight at the same location, doing the same thing over and over again, which gives uh, some validity to any skill that he may have at this point. Uh, I'm glad we're seeing visual stuff showing off that he, you know his hair is growing long. He's looking more like scruffy. Um, we are seeing progress in his training. The traps became easier for him to get through, and they start shooting fucking daggers at him <laughs> and, spike um, traps. and spike traps, which was interesting to see. And then, uh, you know, he's he has a blade. He's fighting Sabado, uh, who's using um, I forgot what they're called, the kendo stick or whatever the hell. Um, oh yeah, wooden sword. Wooden sword, and uh, eventually upgrading to both having swords. Um, so we're getting that sense of progress. Um, and it was it was cool to see. I feel like uh, you know this is the 
the the the thing you want to see you want to see the character that has been getting thrown around and pinned and feeling like he's out of control like he's not in control of the situation uh get into a situation where he you are seeing that he's becoming more ready for the challenges ahead i mean it's an anime so we know those challenges are going to come in peaks yeah uh but you know we are getting a realized character that you're gonna want to see succeed um so i'm stoked about that i am starting to like the characters i like tanjiro so far um i i, mean, I like all of them mostly i mean uh Oh God, Mr. Urokodaki. Uh, he doesn't give us much, but you know his almost uh, uh, cold stoicism as as a mentor uh, is is obviously an archetype that uh, is likable. Um, I really like the short amount of time we got with Sabado and Momoko. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we didn't get much from them, but they were um, intriguing characters that I hope to see again. Um, and I liked the uh, the dynamic of coming into Tanjiro's training and essentially testing him uh, in in a way that he has to prove that he can do it because he's just going to get wrecked if he doesn't. So, uh, you know, there's some stakes there. Um, I am curious to see what happens with uh, Nezuko um, with her sleeping. I don't know what's going on with that. That hasn't really been explained a whole lot outside of this just happening. Um, so we'll see where that goes. And that she was examined. And she was examined, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm starting to get... I keep bringing up Berserk because it's it's like the the big anime for me. But uh, I do get a, like a Guts and uh, Casca uh, vibe of like uh, later in the series where she's like got something wrong with her and Guts is trying to like help her and fix her while taking on the burden of having her with him. I could see that. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of similar to that, which is a good thing. I obviously I love it, so um, I, I get a similar vibe with this. But I also this show, obviously, I haven't seen it, so it's all new. But there's like a lot of things about it that kind of remind me of like other animes in in a good way, uh, like um, the way they're. Uh, it, it seems it doesn't seem inspired, but it just has a lot of good traits to it so far that uh, make it endearing. But it is only three episodes in, so. Yeah, and I, if I did my math right, I think you got another 41 to go. <laughs> All right, yeah. well, got to fucking knock him out. Um, Plenty of content. Yeah, I mean, I also, I, I like the episode as well. Uh, I do think um, they did a good job of doing a time lapse. Um, that can be tricky regardless of the medium. And uh, it also is kind of necessary, though, because the guy can't just become like, overnight badass either you know so yeah. um what well, on, on the other end of that too like would we want to watch do we want to repeat the sins of dragon ball z and watch 20 episodes of his training exactly yeah right so uh i think they handled it really well yeah um, in that regard uh we know what happened we didn't have to watch two years of training over multiple episodes so mm-hmm. um and the fact that they gave us subtle uh um moments where you saw like actual improvement um and then even th- you know through fighting a guy who has no weapon to a wooden sword to a real sword to splitting the boulder so i mean mm-hmm. yeah they did a they did a really good job with that um and yeah i i don't have a whole lot more to say on this episode because it is pretty straightforward um but the next episode i believe is called final selection which is the i think the event that uh is the test to become a demon slayer so Okay. Should become a little more action packed. So very cool. I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um Yeah. Overall though, this has been the best episode I've seen so far. Like I said, they've been getting better and better. Mm-hmm. Um not to repeat it again after this episode, I probably won't talk about it. But you know, the first episode's gotta serve as like an intro to the whole thing and be a catalyst. Second episode we got introduced to it seems the story beginning and then this mm-hmm. one it, it it seemed to be the most gratifying of the episodes. It showed character progression, mm-hmm. growth, struggle. Uh, it introduced endearing characters in such a short time. That's really uh, hard to do. So, you know, I'm curious about them at this point. Um, so, yeah, overall, really, really good episode. Definitely the best one so far. Makes me want to keep watching it. So that's that, what you want. That's great to hear. Yeah. So. All right. Anything else? All right. Let us know in the comments what you guys think of episode three. If you watched it, hopefully you did. And, uh, 
yeah, let me know everything you're thinking about in general and uh, make sure to subscribe to keep up with uh, our reviews of Demon Slayer and other things we will be doing. And also let us know in the comments below what you'd like us to review. That can be movies, TV, anime, whatever. Uh, if we're feeling it, we'll uh, we'll react to it and uh, or review it. And uh, yeah, I've been Seth. This has been Chevy. And until episode four of Demon Slayer, uh, have a good one.